All right, let's talk about Kayvon Thibodeau, who has been having a great rookie season and he's having a lot of impact in a lot of different you know, areas of the game and had a huge game against Washington was maybe the reason why the Giants were able to win a game that really probably is going to decide uh, one of the uh, wild card seeds because they would be in, they'd be in a tough spot had they lost this one. Not out of it, but in a tough spot. Now they're in a much better spot. And a big part of the reason why was because of Thibodeau himself. Let's start off with this play. I want to start off with what he did in the running game. I thought his, he had a huge impact in the run game, which, you know, Washington tends to run the ball effectively. They still ran the ball pretty well in this one, but I thought that when they were able to get the stops in the running game, it was in large part because of Thibodeau. You see this play. It's going to actually be a handoff to Curtis Samuel, but what's interesting about it is it's going to be kind of like an option where Heineke is going to fake as though maybe he's running to the outside. And so you're leaving Thibodeau on block, which a lot of times you will do on handoffs towards the right. And with Heineke kind of you know pretending as though he could go in that direction, that should take away Thibodeau. On paper, that's how you're expecting things to go down if you're Washington. Watch how one this play begins. You're going to see that Heineke again fakes the handoff. And it looks like Thibodeau to some degree at this point is expecting uh, Heineke to keep the ball himself. Seems like he he, you know, the fake at least did its job of freezing Thibodeau. And again, for Thibodeau, you could criticize him if you want to, but I wouldn't because he has to make sure that he does not lose Heineke. He has to, he's the contain guy. If Heineke gets past him, uh, you're getting a lot more than just a few yards on this play. So you kind of have to respect that more than the running back. But okay, now Thibodeau realizes that it is a handoff and watch what he does. I mean, watch him really do a great job of being able to get over there and make a tackle on Curtis Samuel and not allow him to gain yards. They actually lost yards on that play. So being able to do stuff like that, man, it just, I feel like that's the thing that's got to give offensive coordinators the biggest headache more than anything else in the world is when the unblocked player in the run game is able to get tackles for a loss. Like that just, that's got to be infuriating when the unblocked edge rusher who you still paid some attention to with the quarterback is still able to get over there. Like this one's another one where it's going to be, again, very similar thing. It's going to be Brian Robinson now getting the ball to the right. Again, for Washington, they're doing the right thing here. They are running the ball away from Thibodeau. They are using uh, Heineke's ability to scramble a little bit to their advantage by making it seem like he could be going in that direction, although uh, one slight difference here. Watch how one this play begins. They are going to hand the ball off to Brian Robinson's, uh, off to Heineke's left. Don't know if he had to do it that way. He could have gone towards the right, but still, you look at uh, Thibodeau. He is far over to the left. He's ready for a run in that direction. Bit of a clunky handoff, and you're going to see Thibodeau takes full advantage, gets a tackle for a loss once again. So these types of plays, I'm not saying he does this every time, but he does it enough to just, again, those can be really, those can stall drives of turning what could have been a second down and seven into a second down and 11. Doesn't sound like a ton, but there is definitely some value in his ability to do that. I also just saw him read some plays like immediately quickly. I don't know if he's just cheating and he's just guessing early uh, and that, you know, that would be a concern potentially if he is just guessing and he's, uh, you know, putting himself in harm's way because then later on when you guess there are going to be times when it doesn't work out. That is something that happens. But anyways, what's happening right here is that you have, uh, you know, you're going to sort of fake as though you're going to hand the ball off to Curtis Samuel. To, uh, excuse me. You're going to fake as though you're going to pitch the ball back to your halfback. They then are going to give it to Curtis Samuel. He is the wide receiver kind of running a, not quite a jet sweep motion, but similar where he's running to the offense's left, to the offense's right. And you see, I've circled Thibodeau here again. How is Thibodeau going to get into this play? Well, watch how right when it begins. I mean, look at how he's just all over it and he realizes where the ball is going. I mean, if, if this was a pitch, he would have put himself well out of position. Granted, he has you know teammates who can help him, but still, it's just a great read on this one. The fact that he was able to get over that quickly. And watch, as you see, he is going to be able to make, again, a tackle for a loss in the run game. So these plays were absolutely huge. And the fact that he was able to do this so consistently was impressive. We also saw some stuff like this where it's like, okay, we're going to run the ball to that side of the field. But what we're going to do is we're going to give it, uh, it's a jet sweep. We're going to give it to our uh, a wide receiver who's running in that direction. So, hey, we don't have to go crazy with Kayvon Thibodeau. A lot of times teams wouldn't even block the edge rusher on this play. But okay, we should probably block him, right? He's Thibodeau. Let's put a, put a tight end on him. Just make sure he doesn't disrupt this play. All right, sure. Makes sense. Watch Thibodeau just knock this tight end backwards. I mean, right away, he's winning this one-on-one -on -one matchup, right? Whatever you want to say about the rest of this play, his PFF grade is going up after this one, right? Regardless of what ends up happening, he's doing a great job on this play, but you have a, you know, you still have a situation though where you, you don't really care about that stuff. You want to make the play. 
and watch him do exactly that. He is able to just bump the receiver back a little bit, and then he goes over and makes a tackle. Again, that was a play that not, went for nothing, largely because of what Thibodeau was able to do of that initial disruption, but then the hustle to get over and make the play. Like, I just feel like one thing I've noticed about Thibodeau as well is, I mean, there's plays where he's in coverage, and then he's still finding ways to get over and try to make tackles. I mean, the hustle this guy has is incredible. He's such a high-motor player. And there is something to that. I really think there is. You see that I feel like every time, you know, when you have these uh, teams that go on runs, they usually need a guy like this who just is someone who, when you're on the field, it feels like you're always the person who wants to win the second most because someone like Kayvon Thibodeau is, you know, he wants to win so badly, or at least that's how he plays on the football field, which is, of course, also kind of funny because there were some, like, quote-unquote character concerns with him, but there's never been character concerns with him that have shown up on tape. I think that's certainly fair to say. And now heading over here, what's going to happen is it's going to be a, you know, again, one-on-one -on -one block. Let's talk about the pass rush. Let's talk about that. I mean, you, I'm sure, uh, you know, Giants fans are saying, what are you doing showing all this run stuff and st stuff? Uh, talk about the pass rush. Talk about the fumble that happened. Okay, well, let's talk about it. So here it is, a one-on-one -on -one block. Kayvon Thibodeau is going to be going up against Charles Leno Jr., who's a good player. He's been very good for the uh, Washington football team, the Washington Commanders. He's pro football focuses, 16th ranked tackle. So if you care about that stuff, uh, that's how well uh, he's done. And he specialized in the pass blocking game. He's not as good of a run blocker as he is pass blocker. So, you know, one-on-one -on -one matchup. This is one that, for the most part, uh, the Washington Commanders have won. Watch how when Thibodeau starts his play, what you really see is his right hand. It's a little bit hard to tell from this angle, but his right hand is currently on Leno's left sort of shoulder area. That's what he's doing, and this is just athleticism. When you saw the Khalil Mack comparisons, which, again, unfair, uh, you know, Unfair comparisons just to, you know, be in that situation, to have to live up to the hype of a Khalil Mack type guy. But this is why you would see it, because of the athleticism. Watch Thibodeau just shove him to the side, and then he's going to knock the football away. And not just that. Again, like I said, big hustle guy. Gets up quickly, gets to the ball, gets the interception. And again, if this play doesn't happen... I don't know what happens in this game, but it's a completely different game. You better believe that this had a huge impact in this football game. Thibodeau being able to do that. Thibodeau himself had a huge impact in this game. You know, uh, if, if you follow this channel, you know, I talk a lot about how, you know, how much does pass rush actually matter? How much does all this stuff, you know, really matter? Well, if you can get a play like that, it matters a lot. And I also think that what he was able to do in a run game was still so impressive. And he still got some pressures in this one outside of just that fumble recovery for a touchdown. But the reality is, if that was the only play he made an impact on, that's still adding a ton of value to his football team. And the reality is, in the biggest game of the year, he really shined. And that's definitely cool to see for someone who was the third edge rusher taken. He might be having the best rookie season out of them. You know, unfortunately, he got hurt. But so he hasn't played every game. You can't compare the numbers, uh, the bulk stats all that way. But, uh, you know, he's been fantastic for the Giants. And they, they're certainly glad to have him. At least I would be if I was a Giants fan. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Thibodeau and his performance? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.